Good morning. Um, what we're going to be doing today is taking a video that we've uh, taken on our phones of some type of animation or uh, some type of motion and we're going to be turning it into a 12 frame per second uh, layer to rotoscope. Uh, as you can see I've made a video here of myself just walking across the uh, floor uh, with the idea that I would trim this down and uh, use it for my um, reference. So before we can use this, uh, we're going to open up QuickTime and trim this uh, down using the tools in QuickTime. So what you're going to do is open your video and select the Edit drop-down and select Trim or Command-T and that'll bring open the Trim tool. What you're going to want to do is move your playhead to where you want to trim the, uh, the video and in this case I'm just playing it. And I'm noting that right around the red area right here is where I'm going to trim it. And so I'm going to pull in this left handle until that point uh, is accurately selected. And I'm going to do the same for the right hand uh, yellow handle. I'm going to let this play so I can get a sense of where I want to stop. I can see that. And then what I'm going to do is just physically drag that handle to the left uh, until it's at a point where um, I want the video to be um, kind of cut. I'm looking for where I stop and this looks good and then uh, what I'm going to do is just hit the return key or hit the trim button here and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, file save as or export as and I'm going to export this as a 1080p so it'll fit perfectly in my um, Photoshop file. I'm going to name it something different and then I'm going to hit uh, OK. Okay, now we're back and we're going to be going to Photoshop and creating a new document, uh, 1080p, uh, 1920 by 1080 as we normally do. Uh, make sure your window workspace is reset and is in motion uh, so you can see it the way I see it. Uh, we're going to start with a new video layer uh, like we normally do. Uh, we're going to do a blank one because what we want to do is set the timeline frame rate uh, and in order to do that you need a video layer and we're going to go ahead and set that to 12. Uh, now that our video is set to 12, anything we import into this video layer or into this project will be at 12 frames per second, even if it was different, which is great because our trimmed video is at 29.97. So let's go ahead and uh, bring that video in. We're going to use the same technique, go to video layers, but this time new video layer from file. And again, any video you find on the internet, you can actually pull in. And we're going to use the walk to trim one. And you'll see that it has been trimmed from a 15 second video to now just a walking video that we can see in front of us. Now we're going to take this layer uh, and we're just going to rename it just because um, this way it'll keep everything straight. As you know, naming is important in animation. Uh, and now we're going to um, pull this back. And I want you to notice the analysis of this video and watch the feet. Notice that when one foot is on the ground, the uh, it does not move or shift off the ground. This is our stable point. Like you can only, one foot needs to be stable while the other one is moving. So instead of looking at the motion of the head or the motion of the body, we're going to be focusing right on the feet. And the idea is if we could scooch this window uh, left and right the exact amount that I'm walking, which we can do based on where the foot is, we would have something that looks like it's on a treadmill. So that's what we're going to actually do. I'm going to open up this walk layer. I'm going to bring this up so you can see. I'm going to open this up and you'll notice we've been noticing the altered position or altered video layer and that's where we actually draw on the layer and you'd see a little dot there. Uh, or a little square, but notice that there is a position tab as well. And so what I'm going to be doing is utilizing this position keyframing tab uh, to uh, move the video automatically. So before we start, I'm going to create a new blank layer. My playhead's at the beginning and it's purple. And this will allow me to mark on this layer. This is just junk and I'll just call it junk because we're going to be drawing on it. So you can see with my brush tool, I can just draw on this layer and it'll be there the whole time. Uh, and that allows me to create like some mark points. I'm going to zoom in with the uh, command plus a couple times and just look at the feet. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take and looking at the back heel is what I'm looking at. Like notice how it right there it, it sits. I'm just going to make a little mark right there. Um, that's where the first heel hits. And then here, notice how it scooches left and right. But right here it seems pretty stable. Right there is the back heel. And I'm going to do that. 
and notice that it continues on we're always looking at like some point I could always look at it like when it's fully flat uh, but for me I just like it when it's like the heel is just like the easy part for me to notice and then finally uh, let's look at this part and we're looking at it like right there and then it uh, I come to a standstill right here right so now I've got like these four points uh, and if I look back Okay, so the front leg right here is the uh, the front that hits it. And what I'm looking for is when the front hits it again, it'll probably be here. Uh, but I don't like that because my front arm is not swinging. So let's see about using this as a loop point. Notice my arm is moving here, and this could be my first loop point. So I'm going to actually go to my position frame and make sure that this is right on that frame where the, the heel hits, where I made the mark. And I'm going to click the, um, the little stopwatch. And that creates a position keyframe that says, at this point in time, th this position of this window doesn't change. That's the position. Now I'm going to move forward in time. And right here, where this heel hits this part, I'm now going to physically move the window so that that heel is on the point that I originally made. So th where this heel was, that's where it is now. And notice it made a keyframe automatically. Right, which is great. And then I'm gonna do this one more time. Just going to move to the next one where the, the heel, and notice that these are now misaligned. This junk layer is no, you know, no longer useful at this point, uh, but I, I know where to look. Right there, notice how my, my foot shifts, but right there it's stable, right? So I'm gonna take this heel and move it one more time back. And I'm holding the shift key down so it only moves in a uh, horizontal direction. And that's, that's where it'll move. And now if I were to take my um, play uh, range right here and just switch it up like this and hit the space bar, uh, what it's going to do is show you how this works. So at this point, you'll notice that we have a video that uh, is fairly stable that looks like it's on a treadmill. And what we're going to be doing is tracing uh, the uh, video using the rotoscope technique that we learned in class to uh, create an outline and then a fill layer for uh, these frames that are in between these two um, playheads. Another uh, note would be if you wanted to have your character eventually stop, you would then uh, change your play range, right? And then you would actually use this play range and make sure that you uh, obviously shift your, uh, your motion here. So this point right here actually um, would be where you would uh, put the in and out points just as something like that and you wouldn't loop this you would actually just create these frames and they would get you out of the walk cycle into a stable cycle and then you would create a three frame st stable uh, just you know uh, piece here so three frames of just this happening is a loop and then this transition would be uh, just a single set of transitions and then finally the loop uh, for your walk cycle and as we saw at the beginning of the video uh, this is an example of the outline layer uh, in progress and uh, hopefully this helps a little bit and uh, I'll look forward to seeing your work